believe it. That man is 31 years old, Ryan Nugent Hopkins for the Edmonton Oilers, and we're underway. Nugent Hopkins on the line with Dreisaitl and Hyman to start, and Edmonton sends it in deep. Who beat Arizona earlier this season 6-3, but the Coyotes led 3-2 with 16 minutes to go. Arizona feels like they've closed the gap on Edmonton just a bit. Here's a chance at a one-timer healed wide by Sean Dersey, the former L.A. King, controlled by Alex Kerfoot. Wheels it over the Edmonton line. Checked by Yan Mark, jumping a beautiful move to the net. Backhanded denied. A little high in the boot. He's trying to shake that one off. Sean Dersey lost a lot of minutes for this Arizona Coyote team. Here's a steal and a quick dish. No, Dreisaitl crossed up everyone with an extra pass to Kane, and that's ultimately reeled in by Carl Vamelka. He snuck in there. That was a good chance. Created by McLeod. That home's been on fire. Seven goals, 18 points his last 14. Here's a chance and a score. Wide open in the slot, it's Josh Doan. Shane Sun with his fourth NHL goal in his ninth game. Pickard made the first save, but Doan made no mistake on the rebound. Boy, did he ever look like the old man on this one. What a release for Josh. And see him in the lineup. I have a smile on my face seeing him play in the league as well. And this is just a good shot from a one-time position. Juicy rebound comes right out to Doan, who's the trailer on the play. Just kind of settles in, knows there's three up on the play, steps into this one. Quick wrister finds the back of the net. And it's 1-0 for the Arizona Coyotes. They had a little look to make sure that it was onside on the entry. It's a good goal. It's going to stand. And I texted with... He's got 21 power play goals on the year. Second in the lead. Bouchard to Nugent Shot. And that's speared by Vimelka. Penalty kill has struggled all year long. 27th in the league. Here's Kerfoot. Back in to get in front. One timer. What a save made by Pickard on the redirect. Pass from Kerfoot. They go at it again this time. This one gets to him and he takes a little chop at him. Walked around with like 30 caps on his head. I, my mom had a weird assortment of children's books. No one else seems to know her collection. That's why I turned out the way I did. Here's a one-timer off the post, rebound, and then Kane hit the ball. Good grab there. And that look to the sky afterwards says it all for Evander Kane. There's one. The second one is he has a great rebound on the first opportunity. Here's the first one, bang, short side. Second one elevates up over top of Vimelka, rings the bar. Derek Ryan drawing back into the Edmonton lineup. He sat out the 5-1 victory over Vegas on Wednesday. Sam Carrick played, was slightly hobbled in that game. And a shot set wide by Clayton Keller. Polia Chonik, who had a goal and assist, sets up Keller in front. And a glove save made by Calvin Pickard. Everybody's getting work. Everybody's feeling good. I think it's a great idea. And I shot think they block. managed it really well this year. But Shelly, and that might have clipped the outside of the post as he tried to go short side, thrown in front. Arizona continues to buzz. For Edmonton, they need to make Arizona play without it. Connor Brown chipping and charging, gaining a puck off the floor check, and a couple of whacks for Yanmark. Can't finish. And then play their second game this week without their captain, Connor McDavid. Beat Vegas 5 1 easily on Wednesday. A quick snapshot off the rush. Gunther denied by Pickard. Gunther, of course, stays with him. Dropped him in his tracks. Tough team. Arizona's come to play tonight. Here's Bouchard looking to tie it. Dishes. And Vamelka. It's out of the air. It'll be a delay of the game. Here's the chance for Nugent Hopkins. Nice patience by Bouchard after he receives this puck. Wait, wait. Boom, right into the skate a little bit. It was a little hard and a little bit back for Nugent Hopkins to redirect that towards the net. I think almost got one save. as the right pad of Vamelka took that away. And it would have counted. Lawson Krause to the point for Dursey. Now Michelli. Cross ice. One timer save. Almost underneath the puck on the bounce, I think, on the one-timer, but a nice pass across, and then doesn't quite get all of it, but gives Pickard a little more time to get in there, but he has to take it up high in the shoulder-chest area on a beautiful pass across, but Pickard's in place to stop that one. It was... It's game on. The Oilers trail 1-0 after one. And that game on February the 19th, Edmonton trailed 3-2 after two, then got four in the third. Adam Henrique getting over the line. One-timer for Vogel, rebound, and Vimelka kicked out the right pad to stop it. Well, there's no question they got to get more shots on Vimelka. That one had eyes, and it bounced around on route to him. Most are unable to control. Here's Kane, a backhander in front. Another backhander score! Henrique ties the game from Evander Kane. It's one all on Henrique's 23rd. 19th game in the third period. That was the difference.
points for Edmonton. They had 14 shots in the first two periods, 12 in the third period. They came back from behind, down 3-2, and won that one fairly easily. Once they started to generate chances, chaos was created. The first chance here that knuckled into Vimelka. Great recovery down low, and it's Kane that throws us back out into the mix. One chance, a second one goes home. Come on. I, I did have a teacher. Mary but, had a teacher. Yeah. What are you talking about? I'm sure you were red, too. Schmaltz, Jersey fires, save, Pickard, rebound, chop score! Cooley got a bounce off Pickard. And Arizona regains the lead, 2-1, to one, and for the rookie, Logan Cooley, that's 20. And this line stays hot for the, the Coyotes. Lou, you mentioned this game's starting to brim with some intensity. Kulak will jump up on the play, heading for the next slap shot. And that stayed out. This one pucks at me in the booth, but here's some good work in the corner. You talked about it. The work by Dreisaitl, elevate the battle level, come up with a puck, and it's... Brett Kulak that gets a nice... Who carefully jams it back to center. Back home looking up ice. Locating Dreisaitl. Most are back. Cross ice. One timer off the post. Hyman clips iron. Now Dreisaitl. Some great plays here in this period to try and tie this game. There's the one-timer and it's a gun third and it's a high flip that will chase Edmonton inside the blue line. Another dart down the middle. Zach Hyman moving Nugent Hopkins. Wide open shot denied. Walks, walks, picks the spot. Great save. Trying to go right up over top. In terms of close proximity. He gets enough of that on the road. Here's try subtle between Nugent Hopkins and Hyman. As for the second time this year, Edmonton will look to rally when trailing Stetcher. Andrew Kane flashed one wide. Nurse will step up. Now Fogel. He's had some decent looks tonight. He's been involved. Nurse a try score. And we're tied. His 10th. Get a puck in behind, work off the cycle. He talked about getting traffic in front of Imelka. And this is how they came back on the 19th of February to beat the Arizona Coyotes similarly. Traffic in front, some confusion. It was Evander Kane that funneled himself to the front, took a couple Coyotes with him. But on that flyby going to him in the slot, screened their own goaltender. And the blast by Darnell Nurse. Nice play to put it back. Failed to elevate and get a clear, rolled in front, and that eluded Nick Schmaltz. He got it back, though. One timer to save Pickard. Didn't know where it was, but he got enough to freeze it. 19 save may be his biggest. Right there. Twice tonight. Apparently had a clear path to the net, didn't pull the trigger, and now we'll have overtime. Josh Stone skates out the remaining time. State of Arizona and continue to play hard with all the distractions surrounding the imminent move to Salt Lake. Here we go with Arizona first possession. Keller with Nugent Hopkins shadowing it. We'll move it up to Valimaki. A leisurely pace to begin overtime. Valimaki the stretch. Keller on side, heading for the net. Centers for Schmaltz. What a save by Pickard. Kicks it out, Keller. One timer. Pickard again on Schmaltz. After two fantastic saves by Calvin Pickard. This one across on the first one. Schmaltz stops, gets a second. One time opportunities in place to kick that one away. Michelli. What a playmaker Matias Michelli is. He'll hand the dome. Kessel ring. Michelli challenging, shooting and scoring! High glove on Calvin Pickard and the Coyotes in back-to-back -back games have beaten the top two teams in the Pacific. Tonight, they upend the Oilers 3-2 in overtime. Well, it's the overtime goal we just saw by Matias Michelli here, just a great job by him to buy himself some time, wait, and then thread this one through on the quick release. Uses a little bit of a screen on route to Pickard. But he finds that lane. He's the one that set it up coming into the zone, and right here just gets it right through. Adam Henrique, far side, beats Pickard after a couple great saves. Earlier in this overtime, this one gets by him. Calvin Pickard, that is, and Michelli.